so this is the boolean expression that we had yesterday and uh, it required uh, six gates let's confirm this whether it requires six gates or whether we can do it in lesser uh, let us try to let us try to implement this in hardware so if we try that so if we try that uh, we, we need three inputs uh, a b and c and then uh, we'll have to implement this logic so let us see so let us have the inputs uh, a b and c so we have these uh, input lines can have the line a will uh, take these three inputs so here we have the input a and uh, we have the input a complement not a uh, here we have b and uh, not b c and not c uh, how do we get not a from a is we just uh, use a not gate so just have a not gate here the input from the so this is how you obtain a uh, not gate so we can just uh, copy this part so i think you can do that for all of them i am just proceeding with this here we have we need and uh, we need three and gate uh, we need three and gates one here one here and one here so we'll take uh, an and gate here but uh, we require three inputs for this and gate we are going to take one input from here so one input is from here 
from not a the other input is not b i'm sorry it should be not a so i have taken it from a okay, i'll take it edit it and third one is from c so we have taken input from uh, these three and uh, we could actually block here just to i think they look very ugly so we'll reduce their size Maybe we could use slightly lesser. From hello, can you all hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is not B, and this is C. so the output of this is going to be the first product so we have one and gate with three inputs okay so it's actually one and gate with three inputs so we'll have a modification on this doesn't matter uh we'll do that at the end of our circuit diagram the second one we have is uh yeah so let's take the next and gate Again, here also we have not a. Taking not a. b and c just uh, edit this a bit e so here also we will place our three dots and uh, finally we have a not b and c have to slightly extend this okay uh, we already have uh, no, we don't have not b so not b not b is not b
and uh, C. And uh, we will have to end when these dots. A, not B, and C. So we have these uh, three AND gates. And from these three AND gates, you see we are going to perform an OR operation here. So we will have an OR gate. OR gate represented like this. And this is the output X. And we have the output from the first one, that is from the sand gate. Then we have the output from the second one and third. So here, this is our first product, fundamental product, not A and not B and C. This is the next one, that is B and C uh, and not A. So this is uh, not A and B and C. And uh, this is the third one, that is A and B and not B and C. See, you have to remember to put these dots here, these uh, and operators, they are very important. I find that students uh, do not put these and operators. So in the Boolean logic, if you don't put an and operator, it means that there is no operation. No and operation. So please be very careful about this that you have to place the and operator and and wherever required the or operator. So while you place the or operator but you forget to put the and operator, it's not like your general algebra here, this Boolean algebra, and the presence of the operator is important. So now we see that actually we have just three and gates. So we'll make a correction here. So we have three AND gates, and we have one, one OR gate, and we have three NOT gates, okay? So we'll revise our uh, statement. We have three AND gates, we have uh, one OR gate, and we have three NOT gates. So if we work out the economics for our system here, uh, we'll see that uh, we have uh, these uh, these number of gates. Now we can simplify. We can simplify this. If we proceed to simplify this, uh, things will be a little more easier. But uh, for simplification, what should we do? So we have options. We have two options. One is we can simplify. In fact, we have many options. One is we can simplify using the Boolean principles, principles of the laws of Boolean algebra, which we have studied. The second is we can also simplify graphically. And uh, you can do this in many ways. Let us uh, look at one such way. So I'm going to copy this page and uh, we will again do some simplification. So we'll erase this part of the diagram. Okay. And uh, also, well, this is uh, this was without simplification. This was uh, without. C. 
simplification. Now suppose we proceed to simplify. So if we proceed the algebraic, Boolean algebraic way using the identities and laws, then uh, we can say that uh, x is equal to, uh, if you try to simplify this, you can see that the variable c is common in all these operations. So let us take the variable c common. So we have here not a and b not b or not a uh, and b or a and not b and c. We have just taken the variable c common outside. I hope all of you can understand this so far. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So now we'll simplify this. Uh, so here we have made use of distributivity. If we consider this one, uh, we can simplify this. Uh, you can you can take the first one. Uh, if you take the first two, or you can take the first and the last, whichever you want. Uh, you can take the first two. Okay, if you take the first two, uh, the first two pairs, then you can take not a common, not a, and you can take not B or B. Okay, so in this first two, or A and not B. So this is one bracket and this is and C. And we know that because not B or b is equal to 1, we will have this as not a or a. This is one operation here. This becomes one, okay? And not a and Sorry, not A or not A or not B. Okay, I've just jumped one step. And this operating on C. Okay. So here again we have not A or A is equal to 1. And so we get uh, not A or not B and C. Uh, this is a fairly simplified version, but I think we can proceed a little further. Okay. So, if you proceed further, uh, you can write it as A and B, not of A and B. Okay, we have made use of the Gamorgan's laws. And Okay, so here, if we try to implement 
this particular simplified sentence logic sentence let's see how many gates we need so here again uh, we can make use of we'll again make use of the inputs so we require just not a so we'll require a and uh, we will require b and we will also require c take these three inputs so we have a and b have c three inputs and here uh, we will require one nand gate okay so this gate is a nand gate nand gate like this and the inputs are a and b so we will take the inputs a and okay. and uh, if we so here we have uh, this is so this is a and this is b and this is not of a and b okay and uh, we need one more and gate which is over here so this is our output x and here we're going to take input from c oh no yeah so we can take input from c and uh, from a and b so so this is our required logic and here you do find that uh, we have got some economy uh, we just have one and gate one and gate we have one nand gate one nand gate is one and gate and one or gate uh, not gate so we have one nand gate here 
and uh, both, both these are two inputs you can see this is just a two input nand gate and this is also a two input nand gate okay so uh, in comparison you you can see that there is a lot of difference in the economy so the hardware that is required here is much lesser than the hardware that you require here so this is a comparison this is the saving that you are having while you while you make your circuit okay i hope all of you have understood this so yes so in the without simplified part when we drew the graphical gates so uh, i think we we should have taken only two not gates it was not necessary uh, to take an not gate for the c part because we did not require any c complement uh okay let me just see that i'll just go back to that uh you are you are uh yes you are right we did not need this gate you are right so we just require uh, two not gates so we'll make this correction fine good i am happy that you are attentive so we require just uh anything else any other doubt any other uh, i mean a suggestion yes sir i had one doubt yes Please hello sir in the question we can directly like from the language of the question we can directly come up to the conclusion that a not plus b not uh, dot c so we can directly come up, come up with that equation from the language of the question why did we do everything yes this uh, long uh this is just to show you a procedure for a simple one something which you can understand but when you do automation in industry or when you develop devices things are not so simple okay so this is a very very uh, sim simplistic uh, case which you can understand we also know it's uh, we know also know the answer so it helps us to confirm okay but in the process we understand the pro the procedure and when you deal with larger problems you can't write it as simply as you did for this one okay do you agree yes sir so that is the reason yeah any other query uh let's uh, uh, so i hope you appreciate uh, the saving in cost uh, actually when you devices when you make this device when you implement them using these gates or when you uh, produce them you see they are going to ready you are you are going to have much lesser hardware much lesser manufacturing time and that's a great saving when you make lots of millions of um, such kind of products okay so it's very meaningful and that's the reason why we have to go for simplification uh, now we saw in this example that we were simplifying using a method which was, which we already are familiar with there is another way in which we can simplify and uh, that's the method of carnot maps i'm sure you have done it uh, in your earlier classes but uh, we'll just review that over here in this lecture as well so what is this uh, method of the carnot maps uh, let us copy this expression uh, we'll be needing this so keep this expression here now if we uh, how do you graphically signify uh, simplify this so i'll make use of uh, 
some box table which I have already prepared uh, just to save time. I am going to just copy this. Yeah, we will make use of this. So here we have uh, a table and there is a particular way in which we are going to uh, give meaning to this table. So we will write variables in a particular manner. So we'll start with what we are going to do is construct the fundamental products using this table. So first uh, we will have, let's say we take two variables here and take combinations of these variables here, say not A and not B. So we take the variables A and B here and we take the variable C here. Okay. So we'll have combinations. So you should, when you pro proceed from one row or one column to the next, just change the state of one of these Boolean variables only, not both of them. So here, the next one, let us say we change the status of B. So here we'll have not A and Then we will retain B as it is and we will change the status of A. So this becomes, and then we'll retain A as it is and change the status of B. Okay. So you can see that as we move from one row to the next, uh, to the adjacent, next adjacent row, we see that we are making change of only one, we are changing the status of only one variable, not both. This is important. Here we have C and let's say not C and C, two variables. Now suppose if I want to construct a fundamental product, not A and not B and C, not A and not B and C. So here I'll place a one. So it, it, this box indicates the fundamental product, not A and B and not B and C. So in the same way, you can construct uh, the other fundamental product. The, you can populate this. So this becomes not A and B and C. Not A and B and C. This, is, this becomes A and not B and C. That is A and not B and C. So this is... What about all the other cells? All the other cells we place zero. And be sure to do this because otherwise it is meaningless. So fill up all the other cells with zero. Now we make use of some of the Boolean uh, identities which we have already studied in order to simplify. Graphically what we do is we identify pairs. So we just, what we are doing here is now reviewing our Carnot maps. Okay, these are for simplification. So this is for graphical simplification. Uh, here, <clears throat> we identify the pairs. Now, what do we do when we identify a pair? So we have two adjacent ones here. Okay. They have to be either column-wise or row-wise, not diagonal. Okay. Uh, so this forms one pair. We can also identify another pair. If you roll this map, you can identify this one and it joins with this. So you can see that if you curl this, if you curl this table, uh, 
you have a smooth transition a and not b and here not a and not b so only one variable changes so you can use this pair also so you have two pairs identified now the simplification for this is straight forward what happens when you form a pair one variable which is changing its state it gets eliminated so here you see in this pair there is a transition of b so you eliminate b okay a not not a doesn't change so retain not a as it is so this pair over here this pair is actually not a and c okay and the pair over here this is can you tell me what it is which is the variable which is changing its state a is changing its state from a to not a so a goes you are left with not b and c okay so it's very simple when you formulate uh it is just x is equal to so this is already simplified so you have got not a and c or not b and c now see the carnot map has given you this much you can proceed further and this you have to do on your own uh you have to take you can take not a or not b you can take not you can take c common and then you can write this as using the morgan's rule you can write uh, a and so this is and a is okay so this is uh, what you obtained from your carnot map so it was easy for you to come to this now the question is how do you say that this pair is not a and c okay so in this pair what we do is you can identify that you have two cells this cell is not a and not b so not a and not b and c and this cell here is not a and b and c okay so if you consider these two cells then you have c common so you see here not a and not b or not a and b c is common and this is equal to uh you can take not a common so this becomes not b or b oh, sorry b and c and you know that this is actually equal to 1 and so this can be written as not a and c and that is the reason why we write this pair as not a and c so the advantage of identifying the pairs is that you are able to eliminate a variable a boolean variable okay so uh, you can identify when you eliminate one variable uh, you can when you identify a pair you eliminate one variable uh, you can also identify a quad now here suppose instead of the zero if you had a one you could have circled this full all these four ones and eliminated two variables and straight away written the uh, whatever is the simplified thing so here both a as well as b would change their state only c would be left 
okay so this is the advantage of using this graphical simplification it's the method of carnot maps okay uh, do you have any query so far hello hello yes yes sir you please go ahead sir this one a graphical method sir sir this you would draw yes well sir hello hello you may say tabular method or a graphical method yeah please go ahead please go ahead with your query sir jo abhi aapne karaya tha sir wo repeat kar dijiye ek baar sir kya aap video dekh lijiye ओके सर ओके आपको जो समझ में नहीं आ रहा है व्हेन यू गेट द टाइम यू सी द वीडियो ओके इफ यू हैव अ स्पेसिफिक क्वेरी रिगार्डिंग दिस जस्ट लाइक हाउ द गर्ल्स आस्ट यू कैन आस्क मी सो इफ यू डोंट हैव एनी फर्दर क्वेरीज आई विल कंक्लूड द लेक्चर फॉर टुडे uh before concluding i want to announce that in our next lecture uh we will be having a quiz and that quiz will be for uh, a period of time which will be specified okay and uh, it will be at any time during the lecture so uh, we will have the lecture and then for a brief period maybe 10 minutes or so uh, i'll let you know what is the time for the quiz we'll have the quiz and uh, you have a uh, limited time for the quiz so you uh, choose your answers quickly and submit them and the grading will be done automatically so uh, it's not that you will have much time so be very fast while you do this quiz uh so we will uh, conclude this lecture for today if you have any sir i have yes please go sir, ahead uh, sir while solving the uh, using that boolean algebra for x uh, there was a step in which uh, you had included a plus a by a not like you had missed that step uh, maybe deliberately but uh, i have been trying for a long so in the uh, uh, boolean algebra while solving using the boolean algebra the regular method uh, uh, in the previous slides sir in this uh, um yes sir so the third step here in the x uh this one this one yes sir uh, after the second step the, you had missed the uh, one step so i was very confused i couldn't get how did we proceed to the third step uh there's no need to get confused you see it's very simple not b or b is equal to just one okay yes sir so you are having here not a and 1 yes sir. is not a itself yes so you don't have not a or a and b okay yes when you apply the principle of distributivity the law of distributivity so that is not a or a yes okay? sir yes sir thank you sir. you got it yes sir okay okay thank you very much so any other query so we will uh, stop here for today and uh, please be prepared for tomorrow's quiz as well okay thank you very much thank you sir